PNL, balance sheet, cash flow statement, ratio analysis, management commentary, future guidance, future outlook, sector outlook. Oh, so many things you have to understand when you are analyzing any stock. And through or doing all this stuff, you must be getting confused and no overwhelmed with the information how to go along with this. What if I tell you that I'll give you one resource which will help you to do all this stuff in one go and it will be much more uh, reliable and you can also think about the future by going through that report. You want to know that? So yes, today I'm going to talk about that. So guys, stay till the end. This video is related to how to analyze a stock in a much, much better way. And I will give you the complete process. I'm going to show you how to use that resource. Okay. So welcome everyone, guys. My name is Sieta Pandoshi. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. And guys, today, as I told you, that resource which I am talking about is nothing but the equity research report. Yes, I am going to show you how to use an equity research report. Guys, earlier days after becoming my CA, I acted as a research analyst. So I know how this report is prepared and what to check and what not to check and everything I will go give you in detail so that you can analyze stock in a much better way. Shall we start? So let's start with that. And guys, just type in the comment box. How you are reviewing your stock whenever you are reviewing your stock just type in the comment so it will give you a, give me a nice knowledge about how you are going along with the stock analysis so let us start with the equity research report so just to show you what is equity research report see this is one of the report i am showing you like this is a equity research of kotak securities you can see here uh, it is written kotak securities so now how to review this report that i am going to show you step by step but before three you can see that it's a very big report it's almost uh, you can see a 19 page report okay 19 page report is there so you can see here this is an equity research report this equity research report is nothing about the kotak institutional equity research report now you can see these reports are available again in money control and everywhere also available I'll show you the resource also and you can see as such everything is mentioned and I'll go through each and every part so it will be much more easy for you. So it's a quite a long research report almost 19 pages now you may get surprised you no know, how I I'll go through each and every page you no know, again overwhelmed with the information I cannot analyze so many things guys don't worry I'm going to show you part by part what is the main part which you have to check and again how it will be mentioned what is the relevance of that matter okay so it's almost 19 page so I'm going to show you this afterwards First of all, let me show you what are the sources from where this type of equity research reports you can get it. So uh, I'll give you one source is moneycontrol.com like it is a moneycontrol.com and here you can type any one company like suppose you are typing Infosys. Okay, and you can see Infosys is there. Correct. Now if you go down, go down, go down, go down and you can see here yeah here it is see here all the equity research reports are available you can see here all the equity research reports are available and with the buy signal and now uh, accumulate signal you can see this 12th october only after the results came uh yes securities no uh, pdf and mk motilal okay share khan everything is given here again no you you can get it from here so this is a better source now like, if you want to know you can just click this link and uh, you can see the uh, one minute yeah so the, here it is you can see the research reports already downloaded so this is the complete research report correct so it is freely available in moneycontrol.com another website which i can give you is nothing but the trendline.com there also you can see here equity research reports are available so you can go into report section and in that report section you can see a recent brokerage downgrade upgrade sector updates everything is given so click this one you can go down you can see here all the equity research reports are available again this is the recent one, 3rd november so all these are mentioned here just click this report and you will get that report so it's very easy guys so these are the uh see you can see here this is from uh hsi okay so uh, hdfc securities and you can see a complete research reports is available so you can also take it from moneycontrol.com and everywhere so uh, research report you can easily get it that is not an issue uh, main main whoever the traditional brokers they do issue a research reports and their research is also good now you may tell Tapan whether we can rely on these research reports yes you should uh, somehow see at the end 
something is available better than nothing correct so all these research analysts because when i was a research analyst we used to go into much more detail we used to go to the management and understand and also come back and write down the research reports again the research report takes almost one or two months for any research analyst to prepare of course then if it is a core initiating coverage will take one or two months after that whenever there is a quarterly review it will be much more easier but they check the result and they take out the report now let me tell about the all the components which you have to see in the research reports so for that let me show you first and foremost you now there will be a company details okay in the research report almost in the front page only you can see this type of uh, company details will be available in this company you can do market cap enterprise value house trading shares 52 week high low beta everything is given here so it will give you a complete uh, overview of a company then comes the shareholding pattern so shareholding pattern also given on the front page only and you can see here the complete uh, shareholding pattern is their promoter fii public mutual fund institution all these things is available total so like out of this 33% share is of promoter fii is 28% and which of any 21 percent 33 percent has gone to 35 33.5 percent so this is how you have to check the shareholding pattern now let us understand about the investment theme what is investment thing investment thing is nothing the what company is going to do and what we are talking about like you can see here this is one bank report some of the snapshot we have taken directly from the research reports to make you understand like the bank has consistently reported healthy return ratios and earning growth over the years together again the merger has happened so merger entity is looking to work through the opportunities immediately and the bank has started its expansion journey accelerated investment this could continue would help the gain sustainable loan and deposit market share over media term so what is investment investment thing is nothing that what the company is going to do in future and what they are planning to and you have to keep something some points in mind and that is what investment thing will show you next point is nothing to understand about the company so whichever research reports you are checking no they will give you a brief intro about the company mostly it will be there at the end or maybe uh, second or third page so here it is a, like a cipla so what cipla is done over the time again where the expansion it is how many countries they are in again uh, what is their business model correct and again uh, where they are have a strength and like cipla is well known for the global players in inhalers and anterior trivor virals so all these things like they are going again going forward what company is going to do so it will give you a good intro about the company what the company is doing that is what you will able to understand through this section another point you have to understand is the sector outlook so sector outlook plays a also a good role because see, you have to understand that when you are buying a stock unless it is not in a good sector you are not going to earn from that and that's why sector outlook plays a big role like suppose you are buying a bank then if the banking sector is performing then only that bank will normally perform and that is the the probability of success will be much more if you are able to select a good sector so how the sector will be so like here it is, i think it is a banking sector only so sector outlook deposit mobilization everything is given here how the sector is going to perform and all these things will be able to understand through sector outlook sector outlook will give you a very good uh, coverage about what is going to happen in the sector in future and how it can you can take benefit out of that then comes the company outlook so company for the company outlook what is the main thing okay so here the company of execution is the thing so company ka kaisa outlook dikh raha hai again here you can see the how the company is going to perform that is what the research analyst will give you much more in detail about what they think about the company outlook in future and where the what are the areas where the company is going to focus more from here how comes the pnl account now this is a very important uh, thing to check because in the pnl account now you know uh, full pnl is given like here but here you have to see they are normally give two years actual the third year will be the current year and fourth and fifth will be the estimate so next two years what is going to happen so you can see here like in this pnl they are saying that that in current year it will be 4.5 percent revenue growth however after that it will be 14.3 and 11.9 now why you have to take this because see you have to consider this because this research channel is already spoken with the management they have attended the conference call and everything they know much more about the company again a particular research analyst will cover all the companies on from the same sector like suppose 
a research analysis covering a banking sector uh, completely then he will cover all the banking sector companies so he is knowing much more about the company and its peers and competition so he is the best person to give you a proper guidance so you can see a complete pnl how the profit is going to go up and everything is again this is a projection they normally do a projection based on the excel sheet again here also there will be a small projection because one or two quarters is over then another two quarters they have to do a projection again you can see here that they will adjust EPS how the EPS is going to grow you can see they are telling that in next it will be 27 percent jump after that there will be a 15.9 percent jump divide per, per share how much it will be now you may tell Tapan is it we can rely on 100 percent on this projection this projection may go wrong I am not denying that it may go wrong but what I am trying to convey is that, that what you can do is take three to four uh, research reports or at least three research reports and compare each and every PNL. It will give you better knowledge. Basically, all the research analysts are corrupt and all that. Guys, it's always better to understand what the professionals are saying. So, if you compare two to three research reports, you know, uh, basically, you'll get a very good idea. By the way, are you reviewing any research reports or no? If you are reviewing, just type in the comments if you are reviewing the research reports because that is the best source you can get knowledge about the company. Now, let us talk about balance sheet. So balance sheet also you can see a complete balance sheet. It is given here also. You can see here that uh, two years actually is there. Third year, uh, third year is nothing. The current year plus next two year will be the projection. They have given a complete balance sheet. Of course, when you are giving a PNL, you have to give balance sheet also. Then only the complete uh, financial statement will be done. Also cash flow statement. So how the cash flow statement will be again you can see a cash from operations, cash for investment, cash from finance, everything is given here. Even free cash flow they are giving. So this will give you a very good indication how the cash flow will be there over the years, whether it will be negative or positive, that you will be able to understand through this. Plus the ratio analysis. Now this this is very important. See what is ratio analysis? You know that these are the ratios which are very very important to understand. Guys, you can see ROE, ROC, and again EV by EBITDA, PE, price to book value. Again for, for next for two years estimates they are giving. Okay, and based on these ratios you can make a decision. Also, guys, sector to sector ratio will differ. So you have to check which ratio we are checking. But yes, ratio analysis plays a very, very big role because ratio analysis will give you how the financial status of a company will be in next few years. That's why it plays a very, very important role. So please go to ratios if you really want to know about what is going to happen and again, what is the current situation also. Now comes the charts. Now, these are some of the charts which a company may give and charts is a very good source through you able to understand how over the years the company has performed like this is a loan book growth they are showing that this is how they are showing that how the loan book growth has happened again now you can see here for uh, quarter to quarter also giving their year to year they are giving so this will give you a much more better flow of the growth over the time another chart you can see here like deposit growth how the deposit growth has grown over the time okay again they'll give you like a deposit and year on year growth through that you will be able to understand how the company is able to perform again here you can see price to book value ratio so how this ratio price to book value over the years has been you can see the blue line is nothing price to book value like it has gone to 3.9 then it has gone to 2.3 again gone up again going to 2.5 this is how you will be able to understand the flow of price to book value ratio over the time also you can see now one year forward p ratio one year forward p ratio is nothing but no in order to have a valuation perspective you can see current uh in jan 15 it was around 24 it has gone in october 18 to 26 then it has gone down now it is around 16.8 so it will give you a very good knowledge how the company has valued over the years you know, initially there was a euphoria the p ratio gone up then again stabilized and this will give you an indication how over the years the stock price has performed another way to check is like a uh, like you can see uh, that the, the way the revenue has grown. These are very good charts available. No, a chart will give you a very good story over the years how the company is performed. And this always you have to keep in mind whenever viewing a stock. Now financial summary. Now this is a summary which they normally give. The main main heads they give. You can see here uh, the revenue, EBITDA, 
net profit eps p ratio ev by bit roe roc and you can see next uh, two years how the all the ratios will be this this will play a big role to understand how the company is going to perform in coming years financial summary plays a role because financial summary shows you the main main heads of pnl Similarly, market opportunity. How is the sector market opportunity available? That also sometimes they give in the sector. So what is the size of market opportunity? And all these things will begin. What are the positive, negative about that sector and overall outlook they give in the market opportunities? Key result highlights. So these are the main highlights. Guys, you have to go through these key result highlights. Normally, it is there on the first page of a research report they give you a very good indication how the company is going to perform and based on the current result how the company's outlook is there so based on the current result where it stands and all these things will be available like net interest margin asset quality loan growth deposit mobilization this is related to bank years but it will give you a good highlights and please go through these highlights because this will give you a much more better uh, understanding about the company risk and concern what are the various risks involved this also there is one one segment available in the research reports where no if something happens to a particular thing what how the impact will be there on that particular stock that you will able to understand you this you can see a slower than anticipated volume growth will have an impact slower than anticipated margin delay in debt reduction how they are going to impact the pnl balance sheet everything this you will be able to understand through risk and concerns again highlights from the management management commentary okay very very important guys you have to go through this section because this section is very important it will show you how the guidance will be and you know basically what management want to talk about the future how the management is thinking about the future and what they think that whether the company is going to grow or not that is what you will able to understand about the management commentary Please go through these points because these are very important. All these points normally they take it from conference call and research analysts do attend various conference calls also. Again, comparative valuation. So this is this also some of the uh, research reports give. It will give you now like how the company has been valued against the globally. Like uh, you can see it is a Tata Steel. How Tata Steel is there against all the other companies in India across the world also. Some of the analysts. Uh, some of the research reports do give this type of data and if this type of data is available you can have a very brief idea about what is happening across the world of the same type of company valuation and view now this is the uh, view which is very important because this shows how the company valuation will be take it from here so you can see uh, the how the hdfc will be again they give the target price again they give the reasoning why they are considering this valuation also they will think uh, tell you that uh, we they give a buy rating with the unchanged target price of this much again this is how they valued the stock so they will give a complete rational about why they are valuing this company at this level for the future and normally they give a one year target okay so whatever target you are getting in a research reports are for one year so that you always have to keep in mind so this is how you have to research any report because you know i have shown you all the segment one by one and i already shown you how the research reports look like just go through this video again and again if you are not able to understand any segment and same segment you can go and check it out in the research report just to show you again the research report so this is how research report looks like whatever i told you is available here i told you segment by segment like this is the infosys current cnp fair value what is the target what is the rating again buy signal again what is the date correct again all the details whatever i told you is available here we have discussed all these things segment by segment but this is very important to understand because if you are able to go through these research reports properly and also i told you know that how they are giving the valuation this is how they are giving the valuation also all the details everything is available plus as i told you earlier the valuation is also available how they have given this valuation this also you will be able to come to know here and uh, slowly and gradually if st you start going through this research reports i think this will help you a lot so friends hope you like this video so please start going through the research report guys because this is a wealth of information again research analysts are putting lot of efforts to give you this type of research report free of charge 
please use it normally all the traditional brokerages are giving this type of research reports yes discount brokers will not give it like a uh, grow zero than all that because they don't have a research team but traditional brokers like kotak securities motilal also icic and all these guys will give you research reports mk and all that please go to this research reports i already told you moneycontrol.com trend line from there you can get the research reports and you can start analyzing this research whenever the quarterly result comes you can go to this website download it and start reviewing because this will give you much much better framework about the stock so hope you like this video and type in the comments box what you learned from this video so friends be in touch and stay with this youtube channel if you are still not subscribe my channel please click the below link and do subscribe to my channel and do like this video i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye